and welcome to Kids Online Week 9. I can't believe that's happened already so quickly. Today, we are going to be learning about God's Word up against the world. Now, before we get started, we're going to do a quick game. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to list as many countries around the world that you know. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, maybe Australia could be one, 7, 6, 5, I know there's America, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pew. How many countries did you get? Did you verse your brother or your sister? Maybe you can compare notes. So, now we're going to go to Linda on our fun fact. Thanks, Kat. All right, are you ready for today's fun fact? Today we're thinking about all the wonderful, amazing things around the world with God's Word heading out to the world. And so I'm thinking about fun facts from around the world. And I stumbled across this fact. The place with the longest letters in its name is a place in New Zealand. And it has 85, 85 letters in its name. I'm going to try and say this. Okay, you ready? Here we go. This place is called Tamawata Ganglekana Ka Otama Mata Puka La Kivikika Manga Huna Kapa Wada Takatana Tu. Don't ask me to say that again. 85 letters in that name. You really wouldn't want to live there. Can you imagine trying to spell that for your address? Fun fact. All right, thanks, Linda. Okay, here we go for memory verse time. I need you to find some kind of sporting equipment that could look vaguely world-like. So I'm going to use a hoop, but you could, if you've got some skills, the basketball, the this one. If you could do anything like that, or a soccer ball. I'm not even going to try, but if you can juggle it on your foot, I'm going to be using the hula hoop. And you're going to have to do it with your world shape the whole way as you do the memory verse. So it's Acts chapter 28, verse 28. Therefore, God's salvation has gone out to the Gentiles and they will listen. So we're going to say that while you were doing your sporting world-like equipment. So here we go. Acts 28, verse 28. Therefore, God's salvation will be sent out to the Gentiles and they will listen. Did you get it? All right. Hopefully you didn't break any vases or lamps in your living room. I'm going to shake it up and I'm going to jump as I do it. So we might have to speed up. Here we go. Ready? Therefore, God's salvation has gone whoop, out to the world and they will listen. All right. That's our memory verse for today. I hope you puffed, you didn't break anything, and we're going to be listening to how God's Word does come against the world in the story today with Hannah. Acts 28, verse 23 to 28. They arranged to meet Paul on a certain day and came in even larger numbers to the place where he was staying. He witnessed to them from morning till evening, explaining about the kingdom of God and from the law of Moses and from the prophets, he tried to persuade them about Jesus. Some were convinced by what he said, but others would not believe. They disagreed among themselves and began to leave after Paul had made this final statement. The Lord, the Holy Spirit, spoke the truth to your ancestors when he said through Isaiah the prophet, go to this people and say, you will be ever hearing but never understanding. You will be be ever seeing but never perceiving for the for this people's heart has become callous they hardly hear with their ears and they have closed their eyes otherwise they might see with their eyes hear with their ears 
and under, understand with their hearts and turn and I would heal them. Therefore, I want you to know that God's salvation has been sent to the Gentiles and they will listen. Buzz, have you got your hairbrush? Uh, no, I've already done my hair, it's beautiful. Um, I really think you could do with some hairbrushing technique. Oh. Maybe oh, a comb or some adult help with hairbrush. the hair at the back. You love me just the way um, I some water might oh. help. Fuzz, are you even hair. listening to me? Uh, I think my ideas of hairbrushing are pretty good already, thank you very much. I think I will just stay how I am. Look at this. This, this is beautiful. This is perfection. How can you improve on perfection? Well, yes, Fuzz, but I thought you, if anyone, would listen to my technique about hairbrushing. Ah, uh, Kevin, you would never insult me like that, would Maybe you? Maybe I'll go and talk to someone else who wants to hear what I have to say and not bother with fuzz. Hang on, this reminds me of the Bible story we just read. <gasps> when Paul was spending lots of time with the Jews, God's chosen people who God had saved out of Egypt and been talking to and directing and guiding for years and years and years. Paul told these people about Jesus, but they wouldn't listen to him. <gasps> Wait, what? Not even listening about Jesus? Yes, they didn't believe that Jesus was the Messiah, that he was God's chosen person. They refused to listen that he was the one that could save them from their sins. That would be so frustrating if someone would listen to you when you had very important info to share to them. Yes, I wonder what made me think of that story. Oh, who knows? God had always intended that his people, the Jews, would be a light to the whole world. That after Jesus had come, he died on the cross, he'd risen again and gone back up to heaven. He sent his Holy Spirit to be with his people so that they could have God in their hearts and share the good news about Jesus to people all over the world. Oh. God wanted the good news to spread from Jerusalem out to the ends of the earth. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and he asked for Paul's help with that. Oh. He asked Paul and his friends to be part of sharing the good news to everyone because... God's word cannot be stopped, oh, so not by distance, not by people not listening, not by people far away. He wanted it to spread to the whole world. So, like, my friends here at St Paul's Kids, they, they know about Jesus because Paul and the early followers of Jesus didn't let distance or what country people are from stop them from sharing the good news of Jesus. That's right. It's part of God's amazing plan that he wants all people to know about Jesus. And did you know, Fuzz, that Brendan and Karina and Animal that we pray about here at St Paul's Kids, they were sent from our what? church to go to a country where most people don't know about Jesus. What? There's still places in the world today that haven't heard about Jesus? That's right. And oh. so they've been sent to tell these people about Jesus. Which is amazing. And did you know, they're back here in Australia right now. Oh. And they've had a little baby boy, Nathan. Oh, wow, how cute. Yeah, I have a picture of them to show you. It's so exciting. And did you know, Fuzz, you too can be part of sharing God's word. That's really amazing. It so is amazing. I, I can be part of making sure that God's word cannot be stopped. That's right. It's unstoppable. You can talk to your friends and your family. You can tell them about what you're learning here at St Paul's Kids to help God's word be spread to all people. Oh. Will, will anyone help me? Yes. God says in the Bible, he promises that when we talk about Jesus and share him to our friends, he is always with us. <gasps> That's amazing. God's with us. And so I can be part of God's word not being stopped. It's so exciting. Oh. Hey, uh, Hannah. Yeah. I've been thinking, maybe I could do with some instruction about how to do my hair better. Can you teach me? Sure thing, Fuzz. But let's say bye to the kids first. Okay. Bye. bye. <laughs>
seen in any place It comes from one who loves creation People, tribes of every nation Bow down to the king, the one who lifts our hearts to sing Of the love that saw his life Crucified, died, and was buried to the third day Jesus rose from the dead and now he reigns Are you insane? missionaries to teach people about you God. Please help Brendan and Karina Pont to also please also help all of us to tell others about you God. We love you. Amen. Hi, we are going to be making some paper chain people today to remind us of all the people around the world that God's word has gone out to, just like Hannah and Fuzz were telling us about earlier. So what you're going to need is a piece of A4 paper, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and then something to colour it all in with. I've got a bucket of pencils here. You might want some crayons or some textures or even some gel pens. Up to you. That's what I've got. So here's how we're going to get started. First of all, we need to make our people. And so we're going to fold our piece of paper in nice and neatly lengthways. So we've got a nice, long, thin strip of paper. And then we're going to need to do a bit of a fancy fold. So we're going to fold it in half, nice and even again. Then we're going to unfold it. And what we're going to have to do is make a bit of a forwards and backwards fold. So we're going to fold one side into the middle using that crease that we just made. I'm going to flip my paper over and I can see my crease on the top here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it back the other way. Whoopsie. Nice and even. And then fold it back again. I fold my paper back one last time and it should be pretty even like that. Now I've got my paper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a person on it. Now I'm not very good at drawing so I got my good friend Hannah to make one for me. My little person looks like this. I'm just going to go over it a little bit darker so you can see what I've got. There we go, easy as. You can make your people look a little bit funny if you want, but make sure their arms go right out to the sides. Otherwise your paper chain is not gonna be a paper chain. It's just gonna be lots of individual people. What we're gonna do now, we are gonna cut very carefully. Remember, we're not cutting down the side of the hands. So I'm just gonna cut all along all my lines. Now, before I started cutting, I actually cut along this line up here to make mine into two separate chains. So when I unfold mine, you're just gonna see four people. If you didn't cut along the line yet, you're gonna have people going upside down on each other. And so you can just cut along to separate their legs. And now is the fun bit. Now you get to decorate them. Now I put a lot of thought into how I wanted to decorate mine and I decided to take some inspiration from the leaders. I've got mine here. See if you can figure out who I've drawn. Who have we got first? What do you reckon? Who might these two be? We've got someone who loves the colour green with some orange hair and some glasses. And one of our male leaders with some curly hair. And then some more females, both with brown hair. This one here, she's one of my good friends. She's very, very good at craft. What do you reckon? Who do you reckon they are? I've got Linda 
and Chris, and I've got Naomi and Hannah. Because that reminds me that God has sent his word out to them and now they're sending his word out to even more people, which is pretty cool. Maybe you want to draw your family or your friends or just some random people. Make them fun, make them colourful, whatever you so desire. We'd love to see them. Now, this is the last week of our ACT series and I'm sure, hopefully, you remember about our colouring ins that we've been doing. We've had lots of awesome images that Hannah's drawn for us of all the stories that we've had from Axe. And I wonder if you've been colouring them in. If you have, this is your last chance to send them in. So get on that computer, print them out and send them through. All right, your parents will be able to find the link in the Facebook group. Send them through and we're going to be showcasing some of our favourite ones. Maybe you'll see yours in there. And we're also going to pick a winner. So keep your eyes out, keep your ears out and see when the winner is. And remember that God's word is unstoppable. It's gone all the way around the world from where we started all the way to Australia and to every corner. Well, that was amazing. We learned about how God's word cannot be stopped by distance, by people not listening. Even a puppet with crazy hair cannot be stopped. We hope you stay safe. We hope you are well. We hope you have a wonderful time on school holidays. And just remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.